right now. And that's where we'll start tonight. Thanks for joining us for Cake News at 10. I'm Pilar Pedraza. It's been nearly two weeks now since Wichita police say someone shot 21 year old Devin Bills to death during a fight at a South Wichita mobile home park. His family tells us they're no closer to learning why that shooting happened. Cake's John Hayes is here now and John, there's a big reason that family says this loss cut so deep. There is Pilar. Not only are they coping with losing a son, father and husband, but Bill's cousin tells me they're also trying to come to terms with the identity of the man accused of killing him. Tell me how you know Devin. Devin is my little cousin. Um, we share grandparents. Jaquita Penn is talking about 21 year old Devin Bills. I got a text from my mother while I was at work. I was confused. That text and confusion tied to a shooting that happened at this South Wichita mobile home park back on September 15th. At the scene, Wichita police told Cake News a 21 year old man had been shot to death during a fight. She told me it was Devin. I had to take an emergency break. Something Penn says was hard for her and his family to wrap their heads around. He would give the shirt off his back. Um, he was like the life of the party, even if it wasn't a party, a family gathering. He was family oriented, goal oriented. She says Bills was a family man with a wife. And what's her name? Her name is Anna. Teriana is her full name. And two kids that miss their dad every day. How do you find closure in that situation? To be honest, um, I, closure, especially in this case, it's hard. What makes it so difficult, Penn says, is that the 19 year old accused of killing Bills, Laquavion Bentley, was his best friend. They grew up together from yay high, um, was even living with them for a while. We don't know why, we can't say you know why, but um, this is very traumatic. Um, for us. But even as Penn guides us through the cemetery Bills is now buried in, with loved ones not too far away. Our papa, James Penn Sr., um, his grandmother, Mary Penn, mm -hmm. and um, our aunt, Janae K. Penn Dash Potlight. She says yeah. this loss should serve as a painful but important reminder to all. We're here today and gone today. Like, I just encourage everyone to walk in forgiveness. Um, communication is key and just love. Lots of love for him there, Pilar, and a fundraiser has been organized as well to help Bills' family through this difficult time. If you'd like to help, we posted a link with this story over on our website. It's right here behind me, cake.com. Bentley is being held in Sedgwick County Jail on a half a million dollar bond. John Hayes, Cake News on your side.